Hey guys, and welcome to uh, Xnod Studios. Today I searched up at last cheats and found my own video on here, which makes me happy. <laughs> but anyway, um, what is we when we go here? Apparently, 11 people out of the 65 people that have watched this video um, didn't. Well, not out of the 65. But anyway, 11 people didn't like my video and apparently did not um, understand how this exactly works. And I'm not gonna even go through some of this mean comments you guys give me you guys hurt my feelings uh, <laughs> but anyway I'm going to show you how to actually do the atlas cheats again because some people have been having issues okay now we're so we're to go over a full thing I'm not going to show you the game thing because I don't have any game uh, recording software besides this and that would be horrible anyway what the hell was that okay <laughs> anyway so you go to documents my games, Outlast, um, and old game config, and you get this bunch of crap. Now I don't remember the exact numbers because these are already have been changed. Okay, to whatever the hell I wanted to do with it. <sighs> Jeez, I had this weird burping sensation right there. Anyway, so remember before you start changing stuff, right click it and click properties. If this has a check mark in this box right here, please uncheck it. Therefore, you can change the stuff. If it is not checked, you're fine. But if it is, uncheck it. Otherwise, whatever you change will go back after you save it. Okay? Now, when this is done, you can click on OL Enemy. Okay, not, not that one. <laughs> now, here are, is a title for an enemy, such as an enemy pawn. So it's probably someone who's pretty basic and likes coffee from Starbucks. Now, here we have attack and damage from like normal throwing bash vault damage to hard core stuff. Okay. Now these will probably be like 30 or something like that or 20. Anyway, you're gonna highlight it and click and type in zero. Okay. Highlight it and type zero. Instead of deleting it, just highlight it. Therefore, it changes everything. It's easier, like attack range. Not nine zero. Jeez. <laughs> and you're the, this for basically every um, title there is. Enemy soldier for all this fun stuff. AI. This. That's not. B doesn't have one because it's probably relatable to C, which is relatable to this thing or something like that, or this one. And you just, yeah. <laughs> you can basically change anything you want. And I know once you do all this fun stuff, there are ways for you to still die. This just makes it so that the ways that you basically change, such as these, as them hitting you, won't really give you, they won't hurt you at all. However, there are other ways for them to hurt you, which I don't really know right now, but it's basically impossible for them to do that. However, if something bad happens, it's not my fault, because it happens to me too, every now and then. Like, when I played the whole game of Outlast, it only happened once, and I was pretty, like, shocked. <laughs> and I had no idea. <laughs> uh, anyway, so the next thing I want to do is game. Now, here's where the fun stuff comes in. Now... A lot of people tell you that you could just probably change a simple code that's probably right here. Uh, cheat manager. Yeah, see, this doesn't do anything. <laughs> I mean, it may, but I tried it and nothing, no, nothing happened at all. So, in the OL or Alice game hero, which is you, shower class female boss cam. Uh, all right. Okay. Anyway, you could change basically anything from normal walking to infinite amount of batteries to your FOV being totally inverted when you run. Which to do that, you press 190, <laughs> which will invert your 180 degrees of view, which is completely behind you. And trust me, if everything was in front of you to around behind you to give this weird 360 degree view with both of your eyes, it will invert it, making you look backwards instead of forward. And 
know it's really hard to understand right now, but do it. It's freaking awesome. <laughs> also, your character doesn't have a head when you do that. Seriously, if you do like 185, your camera goes straight up when you look down. Your head's decapitated. You should try it. <laughs> anyway, you can change your jump clearance to that, which makes you do stuff. I don't really know. But make everything just super high. <laughs> it'll, make you, it'll make you do some pretty cool stuff. Uh, blur distance. Say, give it a two. Because that's probably bad. <laughs> um, but you can do crouch loudness for them to hear you. Which you could change this to zero. Which makes the game easier for you. Ring loudness should be zero. They'll never notice you. You probably there's a visibility thing on you somewhere. Uh, number of bloody footsteps. You can make this for the infinite amount of game. Man, you could do pretty much anything. You can make all these zero, and everything will look good for you. <laughs> okay. Now, in all player controller, you'll find the default number of batteries and max amount of batteries. Your default should be two, and your maximum should be about ten. Okay, so it'll always be like 02 slash 10, as in you have 10 out of, you have 2 out of 10 batteries. You can change these two to 99, and this one to 88, and this one should be 992. Okay, for those who are hardcore gamers, yes, they'll put cheats on there. <laughs> I have no idea what this does, or anything beyond that. To also make your batteries last forever. Yeah, da 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 da. We're just gonna do this the fast way. Control F. Battery. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> uh, batter. <laughs> die, die, die. Oh, oh, okay then. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Whatever. Um, so that means I have to find. Oh, right here. Yeah, I spelled that right, did I? Maybe not. Maybe I'm stupid. Anyway, so the number of battery duration should be 9999 because I have no idea what happens if you put it to 1000. So we're just going to keep it 999. 0 .9. 0 .9. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I have no idea what that does. Okay. Then you're going to want to save this. Remember, before you do any of that, which I know I should have mentioned it before, remember click properties, make sure this isn't there. Now, before you start playing the game and say and it doesn't work and you're like, man, that guy told me lies, what a total dirty biscuit, please go check again, okay? Please don't blame this on me. Now, that's basically how you change basically anything that you want in the game. I have no idea what this, oh, this is just your paddle stuff. <laughs> and I don't know what this is. It's just don't do that either. Um, anyway, this should change the DLC as well when you do this. Now, hopefully this works for you. If it doesn't, please let me know about everything that you did. And don't tell me that it just doesn't work. Because I don't want to explain the steps again when there's a video for you. Alright. Anyway, thank you for watching, and P.S. if you guys have any issues, there will be a video in the description that just in case you guys do not have a Google Plus account, because if you guys don't have a Google Plus account, I can't reply to you and I can't help you. I know, that's how YouTube works. Anyway, thank you for watching, and please subscribe.